Welcome to this amazing table. This is referred to as the table of the Lord. It's Jesus' table. Uh, <laughs> how awesome to come to that. And I want, I feel the Lord nudging that he wants to set you free just a little bit about maybe some ill feelings that you might have about yourself uh, that you couldn't take communion because you really don't have time to focus on it right. Did you know that communion is given to us by Jesus in the framework of the Passover? And when God instructed the people to eat the Passover lamb, he said, listen to this, do it in haste. What? You are to be free from all the condemnation that the enemy wants to put on you that you don't have time to focus right. Hey, the Lord, when he commanded his people, said, do this in haste. So we've only got a couple of minutes. That's awesome. That's time enough for the world to be changed and our lives to be changed by an encounter with God. One encounter with God can change your life, change your family, and change the world. And it, Jesus gives it to us, and we can have it every single day. So, in the scripture, Paul said, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread. If you got your bread? You say, well, it doesn't look like that. Do you have a piece of bread? Pull off a piece of bread. Well, all I've got is a cracker. Awesome. <laughs> and when he had given thanks... He broke it. And here's the thanks that they said. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam. And I apologize to all Hebrew speakers. That is a, a Western Kansas version. <laughs> uh, but it means blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. And we're going to partake of that. Je this is Jesus' body. And when he had given thanks, he said, thank you, Papa for bread that you provide. And it's a prophecy of the resurrection because you bring it forth from the earth. He said, and after he broke it, and he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so Lord Jesus, right now we say, thank you. Your body broken for us and it releases healing and he's releasing healing into you right now as you take the bread, life and health and strength and blessing and healing released into you and your family. Amen. Yes, Jesus, we say yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. In the same way, after supper, it's interesting, we know in a, a Jewish communion, there's four cups. So we know exactly which of those four cups Jesus was picking because there's one immediately after supper. It was the third cup. We'll talk about that again another time. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup, it was known as the cup of redemption. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. We are saying thank you. Thank you that you provided redemption for us. You took all of our sin and failure and shortcoming upon yourself and released your righteousness and right standing with Papa to us through the shedding of your blood. And this blood, when we take this cup, we're saying yes and we are celebrating our yes to you again in this cup. And we drink it in and we partake of you. Mm -mm -mm. So good. The grape juice is good. And the presence of God is so good. And Lord, we drink you in. Yes, some of you are feeling that his presence just rush over you like water, like the river. Don't resist that. Go with that. Drink him in. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your presence. And in your presence, there's fullness of joy. <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, enjoy him. And you can do that anytime. You can take communion anytime that you want, that your heart says yes. And don't be under condemnation that you have to take more time. Uh, Eat it in haste if need be, and just lean into him. Give him a kiss with your heart of worship. God bless you. It's going to be a great day.